Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where they have, we have started learning uh, Java Stream API. So here is my slide and in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the stream of file. So Java Neo class or we have a Java Neo package as well. So Java Neo class files allows to generate a stream of a string of a text through the lines method. So in files class file files class in Neo package we have a method is called lines. Every line of the text becomes the elements of the stream. So we have a paths is a class which has a get method here you can pa pass the file name or location of the file and we have a lines is a class which is a method is called lines file sorry files is a class which is a lines method which accept path as an argument so this path you will have to pass now you got the stream of a string and this string stream of a string you can iterate or you can iterate and you can get the content of this file now second lines method which is overloaded one which accepts first parameters as previous one just path and second parameter you can pass cat set like utf8 or utf60 the cat set can be specified as an argument of the lines method so this this about the uh, these, these are the concept just we have discussed in the slide so let's go to the eclipse and try to explore these things through an example so here i have created a a class with name a stream with file test and here is the main method and here what I'll do I'll make use of paths class which has a get method and here you are we are going to specify URI or you can say location of the path so I have one file is called test.txt in my project itself so if your text file is, is in project itself then you don't need to specify the complete path directly you can specify the file name if you have kept this file somewhere else somewhere in hard drive then you need to specify complete location of your path so this api will return us path object itself now we have a files class files such a method is called line right so there are two methods which is having the name lines one method is first method is accepting path as an argument second first parameter is the path and second parameter care set so let's go over the first method and here we are passing this path and this guy returns us and this is throwing some exception right so this either you can throw this exception or handle within the try catch so i would like to handle it within the try catch right so here now you can store return type of this over here so this is saying that uh, we need to close it close it right else you, you can face a resource leak so here i'm going to use one of the feature which has been added in the jdk 1.7 that is nothing but try with resources so i don't want to create a finally block to close this resource rather we can create this resource within the try block itself try itself so, so this is the one of the I mean beautiful feature have been added in JDK 1.7 so I hope you guys are aware about this now we got the lines that is nothing but the stream and we can call method for each on this and for each loop accepts object of consumer so that is nothing but the system dot out and double column print ln so just we are using meta reference over here if you do not use try with resources then you will have to write the uh, finally block to finally block to close this resource but see there is no warning as such now if i run it then i got the output right so i hope you understood now next api in this files a line has a two method right so we can say there is overloaded method so second method you can pass path as an argument and again you have option to set cat set as well so cat set dot we have a method is called 
for name right and here you can set UTF-8 something like that and almost you will get the similar output uh, yep so I hope you guys understood so how, if you have a if you want to read data from the text file and first of all you need to convert this text into uh, a stream of a string and then after you want to read line by line from this file then this is the way to do that so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and thanks for watching this video see you in the next video tutorial